We are going to learn about connecting to a multi-user Packet Tracer session. In this example, we are using Packet Tracer 5.1. This tool is available to Cisco Academy instructors and students. We will be connecting to a remote switch and a remote workstation. And on our end, we'll have one workstation to connect to that remote switch. First, let's set up our connection to the remote session. Click on the multi-user connection cloud. Then click on the multi-user cloud and place it in our work area. Next, we need to click once on the cloud and enter the data for the remote host. In this case, we are connecting to 192.168.0.103 and on the default multi-user port of 38,000. In this particular example, there is a password to connect to this session. Now realize that the IP of this multi-user connection will have no effect on your multi-user session. This is only so we can connect the two workstations together. Next, we will add a workstation. Click on End Devices and then just click on the generic workstation and drop it in. Now we need to connect our workstation to our remote switch. We will be using a copper straight through cable under connections. Click once on the workstation and now notice when we click on the peer connection we have all the 24 ports of our remote switch. In this case I'm just going to go ahead and connect to port 1. Immediately our green connection light has come on telling us we have connected, have power, and have a successful connection to that remote switch. Now to connect connectivity, I'm going to click once on the workstation, go into config, and set a quick IP on the workstation so that I can test connectivity to the remote host. Click once on the host again, click on desktop, go to command prompt, and I'm going to ping the remote host on the other end. These replies tell me that I have a successful ping and that my remote host connection is working. Next, we'll learn how to set up the remote host.